And hello guys, welcome back. Uh, so in the last video, we actually found a fatal error. So we are discussing a snappy X smash, snappy X smash dict in particular. And we found this fatal error that says 0 0.330.43 0 .43 is not inside the mesh on a face or edge. So what does this mean? Let's take a look at snappy X smash dict. And we'll scroll through, all right? We'll go through each of these things. So it says geometry, we have the cylinder.stl, and then the mesh is there, which is good. Refinement box, we don't know what this is yet, so let's carry on. Max local cells, min local cells, max global cells, refinement cells. A lot of, uh, what do you call that, a lot of confusing data. So all these we'll just ignore first, including this features thing. We can talk about it in the future. Um, Refinement surfaces, we'll just ignore it first. Uh, feature angle, just ignore, leave it as default. And there's refinement box also, just leave it as leave it as default. Now when we come to this thing called mesh selection, we'll notice something very interesting. We have this thing called location in mesh. And it's the exact same coordinates that we were finding. 3, 3, and 0 0.43. Now what is this? Well, remember, uh, it said something about, okay, you have to tell OpenFoam what, uh, which part of the carve, carving, uh, when you carve out the shape of the cylinder, do you want the cylinder or do you want the, the scaffold uh, outside the cylinder? So when you, again, when you are telling OpenFoam to do a snappy X mesh, do you want this outside of the cylinder, this region outside, or this region inside. So this is what the location in mesh is for. So if you want the, for example, to have a inside the cylinder, you just want the cylinder shape, you just tell uh, open form, hey, I, I want to specify a point here. And then we have the coordinates of the point here in X, Y, and Z. Okay, so X, Y, and Z coordinate. And then you tell them, hey, uh, open form, I want this uh, coordinate and whatever, whatever's inside, wherever this is, this will be the mesh that I want. So that is what location in mesh is talking about. And of course, uh, the note about uh, location in mesh, it says that the point should never be on a face, always inside the cell, even after refinement. So. Yeah, so we need to um, we need to look at our uh, snappy pipe dot form. Okay, basically we see the block mesh, the uh, scaffold that you know encompasses the entire cylinder. We need to select a point inside the cylinder, but we cannot have it intersect on this grid point. Let's say here. So we need to offset a bit. So we want an x and y coordinate that is somewhere in the center. So 0, 0 is in the center for this case. But we need to offset it a bit. Maybe uh, 0 0.05 or something like that. Or 0 0.01. Okay, so that will make sure, you know, it's inside, inside the cylinder, which is what we want. And yet not, uh, not, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not intersecting. Then what about, uh, let's say, for the Z coordinate? What it should it look like? What's the Z coordinate here? Now this thing is actually a 41 units long block mesh, if you can remember correctly. We have a 41 units long block mesh, ranging from uh, minus 1 all the way to 41. So we have 42 units okay so we have a calculator 42 units right 42 units divided into 100 pieces all right so each uh each block is so-called 0.42 units or meters long so each block here is 0.42 meters long so to speak around around there now it's lagging Okay, parallel view is lagging, but regardless, um, we need to have this not in multiples of 0 
so we can offset that a bit okay we can offset that a bit maybe we put something like 1.5 okay 1.50 we know that is never in the multiples of uh, of uh, let's say uh, 0 0.42 so in this sense we are quite safe all right so this is what the mesh selection is about so let me clear the output all right and yeah let's try running snappy hex mesh yeah so i'm going to run it press the enter press the enter and that's what uh, snappy hex mesh is going to do now you can see it's going to do a lot of these uh, shell refinement iterations and if you actually waited all the way out for this process it's going to take very long how long it's actually going to take well i've actually run these tests before it's going to take about 40 minutes you don't really want to wait that long so i'm just going to stop this process now because you know i ran it before and if we ran snappy hex mesh on this settings it will give us somewhat of a, a, a mesh uh, a refinement and you see this shell refinements that are going on uh, so we want to uh, we want to see how we can shorten this process okay so let's take a look i'm going to uh, press ctrl c to uh, shorten this process and this vi system snappy hex mesh date now uh, just to reiterate again a lot of these uh, you know why is it taking so long well uh, it's nothing to do with the it's nothing to do with the point that we specified and that's actually okay so that's why this thing can run but it's going to take a long time to run because of refinement so let's take a look at snappy hex smash dict and see what this refinement thing is about okay so now remember okay I'm gonna delete this old drawings now remember that okay if you have a cell and then i draw a shape through the cell something like this okay open foam is going to have a hard time deciding which surface is actually in or out of the cell so this thing takes less than 50 percent of the cell maybe something like that so open foam would like say oh this is actually empty all right so remember remember we have a scaffold of cells something like this okay so these are in most of this is in so open form will say hey this is this is part of the mesh that we want open form will say this is inside maybe the cylinder so that's what we want this is this one may say oh open form may say uh it's not part of the cylinder so it will leave that out unless you tell it to refine so ends up the approximation of the cylinder or the approximation of this shape will be these three shaded cells now how how is refinement done if uh, open foam detects this surface that's over here uh, it is going to refine it so it's going to chop let's say the 2d representation it's going to chop this mesh up into quarters and then say okay this guy is outside this guy is mostly inside this this tool maybe they need uh, a little more refinement so you go through another level so it's going to chop this mesh up into quarters and that's what refinement basically is about now each level of refinement at least for the 2d sense is actually chopping up into quarters if it's in the 3d sense for example we have a cube okay because the cells are in a cube shape and then you have a 3d surface or rather 2d oh yeah it's a, it's, a, it's a surface that's cutting this uh, this cell it's not going to do quarters it's going to do it's going to chop this cell into eighths so it's a quarter but it's in a 3d form 
So it's going to chop this cube into eight smaller blocks. So four on top and four at the bottom. And that's what refinement levels is about. So one level is to chop it in, chop the cube into eight blocks. And and to put it one more level is to chop, let's say, this cube over here, chop it into eight further small blocks. Alright. So why are we talking about levels? Because uh, we see this thing called refinement surfaces. And this, this is called surface-based refinement. And in the comments it says specifies two levels for every surface. The first is uh, the minimum level. And every cell intersecting the surface gets refined up to the minimum level. So you see there's the refinement surfaces here. And based on the old motorbike, uh, uh, motorbike uh, what do you call that? Motorbike shape, because this was originally from the motorbike file, we have this thing called motorbike. We don't want that, we want to refine based on our cylinder shape instead, which is what we are actually having, right? This is the shape that we imported using the STL file. So it should be the same as what was uh, what you wanted to refine by. So we want to refine using the cylinder surface, right? So it's named cylinder and it should be reappearing here in the refinement surfaces. Now, surface wise, minimum and maximum refinement level. So the minimum level is six. Six is, you imagine this, you divide up into eight, then you divide it up into eight again, and then again, and again, and again, six times. So you can imagine why it's gonna take so long. Of course, I can reduce this down to maybe two and three, and it's gonna take uh, maybe somewhat shorter. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, but uh, level six and eight is gonna take very, very, very long. Actually, maybe even longer than 40 minutes. So, I mean, just for demonstration purposes, I will just put a very low refinement level. And it will still take pretty long. And I think the level two and three one will just take slightly, yeah, actually, yeah, 2,400 seconds, about 40 minutes. Okay, so I correct myself. If you have a level six and eight refinement, uh, the minimum level is six, the maximum level is eight. It will take way, way, way longer than 40 minutes. Level two and three refinement will here will take maybe uh, 40 minutes, all right? So uh, specifies two levels. So why do you need two levels? First, we have the minimum level. It was previously, previously six, and then we changed it to uh, level two. So it's going, only going to refine two times. So you'll have a very coarse looking uh, castellated mesh. Which remember, we castellated mesh means open form is going to select blocks to try and approximate the shape of this cylinder. So if you have a curved surface, uh, and based on the refinement, we can have a block over here. This block is going to be taken in, and this one is going to be in, as well as this, and this, and this, right? So, yeah, that's level two. Why do you need the max level? It says the second level is the maximum level. Cells that see multiple intersections where the angle is more than the resolve feature angle gets refined up to a maximum level. So again, let's do a 2D surface, 2D square. So let's say there are two surfaces here, right? There are two surfaces here, it's two separate surfaces. And the angle between them is more than, let's say, or rather, it says, uh, yeah, more than, uh, is it angle? More than resolve feature angle. Okay, so basically we have an angle of 60 degrees as a threshold. So whatever surfaces, yeah, they are intersected more than 60, according to this comment, angle more than resolve feature angle, they are refined up to the maximum level. So let's say it does really pass this threshold, for example, of 60. So instead of refining once or twice, in this case, it's going to refine yet another time. So this is the third level of refinement. So that's why I have a two and three, okay? Okay, so now, 
I'm going to stop here uh, the explanation of uh, refinement surfaces. In the next video, we will want to talk more about how else we can uh, reduce the time taken to, let's say, do this refinement process. Okay? Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.